evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn HTML, which is a static content, into a, uh, what's the, into a .egs file, which can be used for dynamic rendering. Okay, can display dynamic content based on a different user, okay? And I suppose also the database changes, it also will automatically pull what everything in the database, okay? So here, this morning, I uh, find some uh, template online and I made all the things working. First, let me show you the code. When I start, let me start and show you what's gonna look like okay npm start successfully then i go to my firefox then i go to localhost 3000 so this is ui i found and uh, it's too big okay uh, it's gonna look like this okay which is the online store it has uh, uh, like a carousel and here later on we are changing to the actual content and they have a home about all oh, basically everything is uh, static now okay um so now let me show you the code oh by the way the source code of this one you can download online uh, download uh, uh, from my github repository uh, i will put a link here for the starting code okay so uh i didn't change anything in admin oh, i changed it sorry i probably changed it okay i, I couldn't remember this morning okay and the shop and uh, the view i just using the html i just show you oh sorry not not not, not this add html not this one it should be the index this is what we just see okay this one and uh, in my uh, router admin to add a product we just uh, i just did like this yeah, that is our other product or what? Oh, which index? Let me start again. Hello, this is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn our HTML into EJS, okay? And the HTML is a static content. EJS is a way you can think about template engine, which is a way uh, can turn your static HTML into something which can contain dynamic data. Okay. So let's go to our source code. Uh, here, uh, followed by yesterday's demo, I add some. Uh, styles on this one you can directly download it because I don't want to work on first I don't want to work on an ugly project second is I I don't want to waste our time on writing HTML and writing all the CSS so I download a template online and modified and used in our project just to add new things I didn't delete okay so let's take a look at what I add. I just add an HTML. And the second thing I add is in to prove what actually I we have the CSS uh, or JS, everything is ready. I just route to have a send file, which is the file I newly added. Now let me run and show you what it's gonna look like, okay. Uh, here this is a file okay this is a file gonna look like here have a carousel those images is on the public uh, slash public slash images okay and uh, everything here you everything you you are seeing now is uh, static okay because we are using HTML here we are using HTML HTML is static 
suppose uh, here you want to change to be next so it's gonna be it change to be something else it's gonna be something else you cannot uh, render some dynamic data so in order to be dynamic we have to be um we have to install a template engine which is called the uh, ejs okay see here i only have body parser express and uh, we need to install EJS first. Okay. After we install EJS, then you we can using EJS syntax to do to render dynamic data. Okay. After we install, the second thing we're gonna do is here. Change this file into EJS. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Change this file to do EJS because in an EJS file, you can write two type of content. The first is whatever you can you wrote in HTML, you can write in a, uh, EJS file. Second, you can add JavaScript here, and uh, along with uh, EJS, this template language. Okay, how to get the dynamic content. So the first step, I change this one to EJS. Second one, I spoke too much today. Second one, EJS is dynamic content. We cannot send the file anymore because send the file only applies to static content. Okay. And instead, we are, we are using rendering. Render this method. And uh, when we're using templates and when we're using render in Express, okay, in Express by default, it will look for any dynamic content, dynamic files under the folder called the views. Okay, so suppose I want to render index.ejs, you just path index.ejs here. This is because when we use the render, uh, what thing express by default, it will looking for index.ejs under the folder called views okay so if we, this name okay this name here okay the name i'm highlighting here is not called views then you have to additionally to set your views the the package name okay and here since we are using views we don't need to do additional setup so now let's start our application and uh, try if see if it works okay And then we go, go, go here. Everything works. Okay, see, everything works. This one doesn't work. Okay, now let me delete. Okay, see. Okay, suppose now I go to index.ejs to change something. Uh, shop name called uh, uh, Tina's shop. Okay. And we go and uh, render. E. Okay, you see Tina's shop. Okay, because uh, previously it was cached. Okay, so now actually they are rendering our EJS, right? Uh, next step. Uh, okay, uh, next step. Suppose this, uh, let me see what things can be changed. Uh, suppose okay. Suppose this name can be changed because for different uh, store, like uh, if you are a seller on my website, it's gonna show Tina's shop. But uh, if you are another seller, it's gonna show another thing. So this Tina, this name has to be dynamic. How would we do that? What are we gonna do? Yes, in shop dot yes, and we put uh, name. This one is uh, this is the object name. This is the key and the value is uh, Tina. Okay, and then we will grab this thing. Okay, 
grab how to grab change using the syntax this is the syntax used in EGS to grab values from your server side this is my server side right and eventually this is gonna be turned into a HTML so this kind of like client side okay this name is a value of this key okay suppose we call Edward okay now let's restart uh, no 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 we clear the cache and uh, check you see here is Edward's shop so and uh, one more thing is uh, I we don't want to every time to have dot EGS okay we want to directly have index okay to have index now let's run it doesn't work because we didn't set our template engine okay to do that how to set that set that uh, this is our middleware. This is our middleware. This is middleware, middleware. For setting, that is configuration. We done configuration after uh, after instantiation. So we will do here, like app.set view engine, which is EJS. So after we set this one, we no longer need to have index.ejs, okay? We just give the file name. Let's change it to like uh, uh, Josh, okay? And uh, to guarantee we made the change. Now we we'll go here again. You will see Josh's shop, okay? So in this video, I just show you, briefly show you the setup for using temp uh, to to use EJS okay to display the dynamic uh, content and the next video where we will go through the layouts okay that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye